And it's so hard to say goodbye to my Tajay. That's right. Pouring a little out for Tajay Sharp. Uh, Minnesota Fine Vikings announced that they have waived uh, the veteran wide receiver to make room for tight end Hale Henches, uh, who was claimed off the Titans practice squad last week. So, yeah. It's unfortunate. Uh, big time free agent signee of the Vikings this off season uh, on the league minimum one year deal. It's whatever. Uh, but because of the off season, no OTAs, limited training camp, no preseason, could never really get solid footing. You know, Thielen was obviously wide receiver one. Jefferson was a first round pick, even though they had the training wheels on him to start. Uh, Chad Beebe actually might be Gary Kubiak's son. We don't know. We don't know. And also Ola B.C. Johnson was actually wide receiver two to start the year. Tajay ended up only playing 28 snaps over four games. Uh, he had three targets, including a 39-yard bomb week one against the Packers on fourth and one because YOLO. Uh, and then also that moonshot yesterday towards the end of the Bucks game, but I uh, recorded zero catches in his Vikings career. Uh, and also didn't play special teams, was, also, uh, was usually a healthy scratch anyway. So it's sort of like, eh, okay, but... So fortunate. So let's eulogize uh, the Vikings career of one Tajay Sharp, uh, 25 years young, uh, 6'2", a buck 94, former fifth round pick in 2016, coming out of UMass by the Titans, uh, put up 111 uh, catches, 1,319 yards, receiving five touchdowns his senior year. Overall, had a really nice rookie year. I mean, 41 catches, 522, and two touchdowns. A great route runner, pretty shifty, could uh, do some things in the open field. Uh, although, who knew that the catches and yards would be career highs? Uh, and then, uh, it just sort of got displaced in Tennessee. They signed Adam Humphreys. They drafted A.J. Brown. They drafted Corey Davis. So, he just sort of fell out of favor there. As uh, he, he built up some chemistry with Mariota, but, of course, Mariota fell out of favor there uh, as well. But, ironically... This may be a spot where it works out for both the team and the player because Tajay is looking, well, Vikings may not make the playoffs. Maybe I want to get a playoff check. Maybe I can catch on somewhere else, potentially show up and show out the last couple of weeks and maybe playoffs uh, or at least in practice. And maybe I'll get a contract for next year. Uh, he may have asked to be waived and also the Vikings uh, with Henches uh, needed that roster spot. So they're like, okay. We'll let you go. Ironically, with Adam Humphreys on IR with the concussion, it may be the perfect spot for him to come back to Tennessee. Mike Brabel and Ar Arthur Smith is like, hey, 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 come on back. So you never know. But uh, it's unfortunate. Like we said, had, had some quasi hopes for Tajay, but I mean, BC and, and BB, it's going to be a hard hurdle to clear there, especially since he doesn't play special teams, which means I wouldn't be active on game day. And especially since Dan Chiseno is a special teams monster. And then KJ Osborne, when he wasn't being benched, uh, obviously played some special teams. So he wasn't going to be active. He wasn't going to do anything. And oh, of course, Justin Friggin Jefferson ascended to the height. So unfortunate but uh he does join the pantheon of uh legendary vikings free agent signees uh, recently like tavares king like kendall wright ironically a former titan michael floyd uh just another veteran wide receiver on a minimal deal who just didn't work out so your thoughts but uh uh yeah letting go tajay sharp let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes my support that work post on the Venmo. but until next time skull production value <laughs>